Good afternoon, YouTubers. Lizard here. We are back in the weird filming section of my bedroom. Usually we film downstairs, but today it was um, more of an easygoing filming, so I wanted to do it in a more comfortable place to film. by the title this was just a all over the place kind of Disney video I just wanted to do something kind of fun then on Thursday the first Disney villain after hours party event happened and I heard a lot of mixed reviews so I wanted to get my own review out there then yesterday it was Donald's birthday happy birthday Donald you are the greatest also, if you did not watch uh, The Three Caballeros and uh, Saludos Amigos yesterday, you weren't really celebrating Donald's birthday. This is his movie. You gotta watch his movie on Donald Day. <laughs> anyway, that's what I did yesterday. I watched uh, Saludos Amigos and Three Caballeros because it's also the 75th anniversary of The Three Caballeros. Happy anniversary to Jose Panchito and also Donald. Mwah. I love these guys. But also, the big important thing was, again, Donald's birthday. If you follow me on my Instagram, you know I've been posting Donald's birthday since the 6th, because apparently I got the date wrong. But that's okay, because Shanghai was celebrating since the 3rd, so I felt really better about myself that, you know, I got the date wrong. But it's all okay. So it was his birthday, he's 85, and he looks amazing for his age. And this is a new patch that I'm going to put on my Disney vest that you all have seen in my Instagram and on my previous videos. This was also for when I was going on my cruise because this is the uh, picture of the Aqua Dunk or this is the logo of the Aqua Dunk. So um, this application is from DT Digitalizing and I will put their link down in the description box below. So please go check out their embroidery and their application I, um, things. They are very, very reasonable. They are very beautiful and they are just so much fun to make. I, I'm so glad that this one worked out. And I also finally got their, uh, their Phil or Magic traction logo to work out. So again, that was my main purpose of this video is that I wanted to wish Donald Duck a happy birthday. I was going like, well, I know I can't do that as just a video. I have to do something else. So I was also looking on Tumblr and t my Tumblr is filled with all kinds of things, all kinds of fandoms. And there's always uh, questionnaires popping up about you, about your fandom, about what your likes, your dislikes. And so I found uh, 10 questions that I thought would be kind of cute and I Disney-fied them. So I wanted to go ahead and answer those, but I'll save that to the last part and I'll put the timestamp here if you just want to skip over to the questions because that's fine as well. But what I wanted to do first was I wanted to do my review of the Disney Villain After Hours event party. Now I get it, I really can't give a full review because I was never there. I can't get to it this year. I already have the cruise I have to save money for and this after hours event was very expensive to those who are not a annual pass holder. If you did not know about this Disney villain after party event, the tickets, I, I will also put all the information down below so you can find it all for yourself. It's on special days from now till August, I believe like at the 8th of August and it's 150 with tax included for non-annual pass holders, but with annual pass, it's like 109. So if I had an annual pass, I would probably go, but since I don't have an annual pass, nor do I have the 100 to spend, nor do I absolutely not have the 150 to spend because I need that for the cruise, I cannot go to this event. So I can't give a full review. What I wanted to mainly do was give my review of the Disney's villain unite stage show i wanted to give my main review of that show because i've only heard a few high reviews and very 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 low reviews so i just wanted to give my opinion out just because it's something fun and i wanted to make a fun video anyway so for this villain unite show 
it, the main plot story, again, I will put a link to the video down below from, uh, you can find, if you search for it on YouTube, you can also find it, but I, I will put the video that I watched down below in the description box. So the main point of this show is that Hades is taking over and uh, he's got a message from the face that says, hey, I could take over the universe, but it's about five that could take over the universe. So it turns out that five villains come together to take over the universe, which includes Hades, Queenie, I'm just calling her Queenie. She's the queen from Snow White, Queenie, Maleficent, Dr. Faslier, and Jafar from Agrabah. <laughs> I, I say it says Jafar from Agrabah because that's how he says it. I am Jafar from Agrabah. Anyway, the show has a few stunt bits in between each villain. Megara is also there. She is somehow back with Hades, even after the movie she got free. The way I see it is that I guess this is before the end of Hercules because she's just... But even at the end of the show... Uh, never mind. It's, it's really complicated. So it goes on. It's fun. There's not a villain song included, which I will get back to it with my initial review. So how I viewed it, I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. I thought it was new. I thought it was fun. And the thing is, is that my favorite villain is Hades. So I was already excited for this show because it was something to do with Hades. Like, Hades is my boy. <laughs> like, if I wanted to be a Disney villain, like, slave or whatever, I would choose Hades. Like, I would choose Hades as my master or whatever. I, I would be Megara, like, and I would not be complaining. So, yeah, I'm kind of, I guess I'm kind of biased on the show because, again, it was Hades. It was fun. The uh, cast member who plays Hades did a, a fantastic job and the, the costume for Hades finally looked good. So yeah, Maleficent was awesome. Dr. Facilier was awesome. Everything, everything was really great. So those were my pros for the show. It was cool, fun. So my pros for the show is that it's definitely, it's something to do with Hades. That was really cool. So during the show, the projection of each villain comes up on the castle. They really use projections in this. And so the projections of uh, Hades on the castle, of Jafar on the castle, of Maleficent on the castle, of Dr. Facilier on the castle, and um, even Queenie's was okay. I would, I would rank it with Hades, Dr. Facilier, Maleficent, Jafar, and then Queenie. Like, that's how I would rank them. But anyway, so the projections on the castle were really amazing. The fireworks at the end were amazing. So moving on to my cons of the show is that the stunt bits. So in between each villain, there were stunt bits. And I agree with some of the reviews that I have heard about this, is that the stunt bits were boring. Like, there was no point to them. It was just rock music and guys throwing swords. Sometimes it was guys throwing fire. And sometimes it was guys swirling axes. And then it was in between Jafar was the swords. Uh, Queenie got a person with an axe. Then Dr. Facilier got some two people with flamethrowers and Maleficent didn't get a stump it. So there was only three. There was three state um, stump bits and they were, like I said, they were boring. They, they didn't make any sense. And I don't know, I guess it was just something Disney wanted to try new. Maybe they wanted to add those aspects to another show. But to me, they just didn't make sense. They were too long and, you know, you're just watching them. Nothing's happening. They kind of lose your attention. And then once it gets back to, you know, Hades throwing a joke or Megara throwing her sarcastic bits or the Queenie saying something or Jafar saying something or Maleficent taking over, then it gets back to be good. And that's really, that was only the bad bit was that's my only con of it is the basically the main bits of the show, which is the stunt bits. So what I really wanted to say was I wanted to think of a different way that it could go. And I've been thinking of this all night. It's really got me tossing and tearing. So I thought this would be really cool to think of it as another way. So during this event, different lights are on. There's uh, different projections over, over in Tomorrowland. There's uh, lights on under the monorail rail. There's uh, blue and green lights going on in certain areas of the park. So different lights are on because um, it's all red and spooky and villainous and everything like that. Main Street was covered in red and everything like that. So here was my first idea that I thought could be pretty cool. I know on the 
schedule is that the show was broken up into three time zones, so anybody who was at the event, because the event runs from 10 to 1, so anybody who was at the event could see all, all three shows if they wanted to, or they could just see one show and then go off and do the rides and the food, like uh, like an after hour is supposed to be about. Then also the um, Maleficent Parade float that, so they could see that as well. So here was my idea. I think it would have been really cool if they had only two shows. One at the um, 10 o'clock starting of the party, and then also one at the 1 a.m. Because I know people are, are were still there around 1.20 for the uh, surprise kiss the, kiss the goodnight goodbye from the villains on top of the uh, train, on top of the train station. And also Maleficent was going around one more time around 1 o'clock, so she went around she started at one and then she ended at like 120 so i think if they would have done it this way if they would have done one at 10 o'clock like say say it was a show that where mickey was closing the park or whatever something silly and fun like that and instead of taking over the cosmos what if the villains were just taking control of the kingdom for the night or for this event or blah 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 and so they kicked off M Mickey, you know, he runs away in fear, blah, blah, blah. And then it just becomes a show about the villains. So that's the first one. And also during the end of that, instead of, you know, gaining the power to take over the universe, gain the power to take over the kingdom. And at the end of that show, after the fireworks, also set off fireworks or lights along Main Street and everywhere. So everybody looks 360 around them, which is what you do in the um, stage show courtyard anyway, if that was the whole point of like every happily ever after where you look all around you well if for that stage show if they would have turned on lights down on main street and everything like that or set off like some kind of fireworks so people turn around then they could see that the um the first way to take over the kingdom is that they turn on all the party lights like all the red turns on all the projections at tomorrowland turn on all the uh lights turn on in all the other areas of the park and it that and so they take over the kingdom they turn on the party lights then they go into that DJ that was playing and go and just have that then between the 10 p the 10 p.m. show and the 1 a.m. show have the DJ and also have a full not a full-on parade but a mini parade have four floats dedicated to the villains that were on the stage so have Hades like in a throne or something have Queenie, have Jafar, and have um, Dr. Facilier all on floats that are waving, you know, you know, and everything like that, and play, you know, either their theme songs or play their play instrumental versions of the evil songs that go with them, and then have the Maleficent float be behind them and just have that go through, have that go through around maybe twice. And then for the 1 a.m. show, do the exact same thing what they did instead of get rid of Mickey, just have just have a different start and a different ending. An ending that either closes the park for the time or just, you know, shows off the power, shows off the fireworks like he had. If they would have done something like that, I think it would have encouraged people to go back because then they would have had to come back and see both shows. Then they, and they also would have been, there wouldn't be, you know, three hour lines to see these characters, but there would have been, you know, some way to see characters out and about. Because in the parade, you can't exactly touch the characters, but you can wave to them and they interact with the crowds and everything like that. So if they would have done that, I think that alone would have been worth the 150 price. Like, I would have definitely been there if there was something like that happening. And I know there's no way between now and August that they're going to change it. There's absolutely no way. But if they would have done something like that, that would have been amazing. Then I also started thinking of just ways they can already improve the show that they had. The one thing I think they could have changed is that the stump bits, which are the most boring bits, there's absolutely no way 
they could not have choreographed those to the villain song. Like Jafar, if they would have done the sword guys to Prince Ali and had an instrumental of Prince Ali playing in the background, then, you know, people would have been singing like, Prince Ali, da 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 People would have loved that. For Queenie, just have her, I believe the evil song for Queenie is her transformational music. So play a remix version of that. You can't tell me Disney does not have a remix version of that because that would have been awesome. Then also for Dr. Facilier, play um, I Have Friends on the Other Side, an instrumental version of I have friends on the other side with the fire and that would have been perfect if they would have done that because people were expecting a song people were expecting the villain song that we all know and love and if they would have done that I think people would have been 10 times more happier I know I would have been 10 times more happier now there's also one other thing they could have done is that at the end when all five of them are together they could have sung a whole new song that was just about the five of them and ended off with the fireworks now there's two Disney villain songs that actually do exist. One's from Tokyo, which is uh, Welcome to the Villain's World, where they could have done a villain English remix version of that at the end and had the fireworks go off in the background. That would have been really cool. Or they could have done a different lyric version of This Is Our House Now from House of Mouse. If they would have done that, if they would have added a, some kind of song that you could sing along to, I think the stage show would have been just that more higher and just that more cool. Anyway, that is my gripes with it. That's my review of it. I think it was still an amazing show. Again, I love Hades. Anytime you can see Hades somewhere in the park, in the kingdom world, in anything to do with Walt Disney World or Walt Disney Land or, yeah, Walt, or Disney Land or Walt Disney World or Tokyo Disney or anything like that, if you have a show with Hades, just do it. Like, because it's just going to be amazing. So I, I liked the show. I think it could have been better. So yes, that is just my full review. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of the villains after hours. Do you think they could have done more? Do you think they could have done less? Do you think they just should have not bothered with a the theme altogether? I think so far that the best after hours themed event has been over in Disneyland with the 90s Disneyland after hours. If they th bring that <laughs> to Disney World, oh my gosh, that would be the greatest thing ever. Please, Disney, bring the 90s after hours event to Disney World. Please, that is what you need to bring. It was so popular and so good over in Disneyland. Just bring it over here, please. Oh.